was 1940 and a simpler time in America. The country had not yet entered World War II, which meant many young men were still helping out on the family farms or earned a few dollars a week by working other jobs. Some worked early morning before going to school, like Bob Brewer, who worked a milk delivery route before attending Heron High School. After finishing his formal education at Heron High in 1942, Bob joined his country in the war effort against Japan, Germany, and Italy, serving in the U.S. Navy Submarine Service. The work ethic he learned working a job as a teen served him well in the service, and after returning from the war to Southern Illinois, he went back into the milk business. First he worked as a distributor, and after saving some money, he began opening his own restaurants under the New Era Dairy name. By the 1960s, he had opened several restaurants in the region under the name Family Fun. Others that would eventually come included Primetime and Shenanigans. But Bob was considering new business ventures, wondering how to fill an empty lot next to one of his Carbondale restaurants. As he told the Paducah Sun in a 1989 article, he accidentally shot himself in the leg while handling one of his guns in 1968. Embarrassed and sidelined by a minor injury, he read a hospital magazine about a national hotel chain. He said, right then I knew I wanted a motel on that vacant lot. So Bob entered the hotel business and opened his first motel. His strong work ethic and business acumen led to Bob Brewer ultimately establishing his own nationwide hotel chain called Best Inns, Best Suites, and he eventually owned and operated 35 hotels. He was recognized for his success and respected for his generosity to both employees and the communities where he lived and worked. Years later, Bob also established a chain of independent living centers in Illinois and Indiana under the name Grand Manor. In the late 1990s, he sold his Marion-based hotel business and considered new ways to help others in Marion and his hometown of Heron. Around the same time, a few longtime employees and associates assisted him in establishing the Robert M. Brewer Family Foundation. As they considered a permanent home for the foundation, they knew the old J.V. Walker building on North Park Avenue needed to be torn down. J.V. Walker was a member of the school board when Bob had graduated at Heron High School almost 60 years earlier. In 1998, Brewer donated $1 million to his alma mater. The location of the Walker building seemed to be a great place for the foundation to be established. Though Bob had not had the opportunity to attend college himself, he knew he wanted to help others who had to work their way through high school to pursue a secondary degree. In 2001, Bob passed away and the first Robert N. Brewer Family Foundation scholarships were presented to local high school graduates. In the two decades since, $10 million in scholarship funds have been given to Marion and Heron High School graduates. The scholarships renew as the students progress through each year of college and the Brewer Scholars become part of the Brewer family. Framed photos of most of the 869 and counting Brewer Scholarships line the walls at the Brewer Foundation building. And let's talk about that building. Architectniques Limited shared these photos after they won awards for their design of the building, which was designed to reflect the styles of historical buildings that existed 100 years ago. Applications for Robert N. Brewer Family Foundation scholarships are available at the guidance offices at both Marion High School and Heron High School, and another group of Brewer scholars will be chosen this spring to continue Bob Brewer's legacy of hard work and perseverance into the future. Thanks to Arcadia Wealth Group for their continued support of these Turning Back Time segments. For the Marion Star Live, I'm Bill Swinford.